Hello, this is William Biersack from the Office of Online Learning at Mount St. Mary College. eClass, which still runs on the Moodle platform, has recently been upgraded to create an enhanced and user-friendly experience for college, faculty, staff, and students. This video will provide a brief overview to the changes in the appearance and functionality of eClass, which you may experience in the near future. First, you may have noticed a new look and feel to the eClass homepage, but you might not be able to put your finger on what exactly is different. eClass now uses a new and smoother set of fonts, but otherwise functions similarly to how it did before. The second set of changes can be found in the drop-down menu by your name, and you may notice a few new functions. The first new function you may notice is Grades which was previously only available to students so that they could see the overall average for their courses. Another new function is the Switch Roll To button, which was previously only available in the administration block within the course. With this button, a faculty member can change their role to a student role and temporarily see how a student would perceive their course. Another new function of the eClass homepage is the alert icon and the message icon where teachers or eClass administrators can send messages to other users. The next new function of eClass can be found within the Dashboard page. Previously in eClass, a faculty member would need to sort through their My Courses list in order to find their upcoming courses. The Dashboard page makes it much easier by filtering out all your future courses. The functions for filtering out in-progress and past courses are still being developed, but we're hoping to have that ready for you by 2018. At the course level, you may have noticed that the Turn Editing On button has now been replaced by a gear icon. This takes many of the standard functions of the administration block and makes them more accessible to the faculty member that's teaching the course. Two things to make note of is that the Edit Settings button will bring you to the Edit Settings page of the course, and the Turn Editing On button will allow you to edit the course page. Another new function of eClass is that Moodle has updated its ability to support competency-based learning in online courses. In 2018, we'll be providing more information and training on utilizing these features, but you can make a one-on-one -on -one consultation in the near future to learn more about this. Another new appearance feature to make note of is that Moodle is transitioning away from the block setup in favor of drop-down menus. This is evident in the changed Turn Editing On icon, which now brings all of your administration block functions front and center. The next new function in eClass can be found in the settings of the assignment modules, which now includes a time setting to remind me to grade by. This will help teachers prioritize grading within their online courses in order to get grades to students in a timely manner. Furthermore, you may notice that assignments now include a submission type for Poodle, which also can be found in the feedback types. This is a new plugin that we are testing on eClass, which makes you able to record audio and video directly into assignments and various other activities. In the month of November, we'll be offering a workshop on Poodle so that you can fully take advantage of this new plugin. In the meantime, you can set up a one on one consultation with the Office of Online Learning in order to learn more. Next, if you're an instructor that uses the topics or weekly format for your course, you can now change section or topic titles directly within the course page. One final new function of eClass is that instructors are now able to drag and drop media files directly into their course pages. In the past, this function was only available to files for text-based documents. For example, an instructor can take a photo on their computer, drag it into the course page, add as media, and when it uploads, the photo will be in line with everything else in the course page. The same can be said about audio files. Faculty members will be able to drag them in, upload them, and when it finally processes, it will pop up as a media player directly within the eClass course page. If you have any questions or concerns regarding the new features of eClass, or would like to set up a one-on-one -on -one consultation for getting these features, 
please feel free to get in touch with the Office of Online Learning using the contact information on your screen. Thank you, and have a nice day.